Happy Jamarill vlogging out in the forest day. I am getting ready to put in my Walmart grocery order. This is a freezer meal grocery haul because next week on Monday and Tuesday in particular, I'm gonna do a whole lot of freezer meals. I am particularly cooking my large family freezer meals pack four. So I'm gonna just go down this grocery list, enter it all in, and we're gonna pick it up this evening. Once we're done with our school stuff and we have dinner, we're just gonna zip out about 25 minutes away, which is close for us pick up these groceries and I'll do a haul for you. Okay friends, a little Jamarill reality check. I was getting all happy-go-lucky, filling in my Walmart grocery order here on my phone, which I'm gonna show you. Travis texted me and said, rain's coming your way. Of course, all the kids are having a glorious time outside and I was all set up to put my order in. Rain sure did come our way. We're inside now. What I have found, ouch, is now I got my order in and they have no more pickup time slots today. So moving that plan to, okay, we'll pick it up tomorrow morning, but at least the grocery order is in. I, it used to be you had to put your order in like 24 hours in advance. If I can get the order in in the morning, we can still pick it up the same day and it's awesome. But shoot, missed it for today. But I do wanna show you this math and then the next thing you will see will be us loading up the groceries. So everything that I need to do the 40 freezer meals from pack four is $257.85. There were just a few things from the big batch cooking shopping guide that I had on hand. You know, sometimes you don't need every little thing. Sometimes there might be two or three things you had. I had all the spices and I'm trying to think what else it was I have. Oh, I have the tomato sauce and diced tomatoes. So those aren't added to this list, but everything else, ooh, so many other things. <laughs> all the meat in particular, that's always the most expensive part. Those are all on here. So $2.57. And so for 40 meals, that makes it $6.42 a meal. And I say yes and amen to that. So happy Saturday. It's going to happen today. We're picking up the Walmart grocery pickup orders. What I did is I put a full order in yesterday just for food. And then I put another order in for household. So let's pick it all up, get it all home. This is why we love the utility floor. We use it hard. Got junk under the seats. We'll clean out the van another day, but this is the back of our van before they load it up. Of course, it has those gorgeous six foot ceilings. So yeah, now we're waiting for our pickup orders. So now since this grocery pickup order is also our Saturday morning date, we're going through sheets. I'm getting myself a big iced coffee, with heavy almond milk. We're gonna have our date and head back home. And I got a fun mom's all that goodie bag. I will, I'll lay this out when we get back home too and we'll see all that's in it. Okay, here is a look at the back. Loaded, but yay, look at all that, all that ceiling room. Our old van things used to be stuffed to the top. But yeah, lots of, lots going on. We got household haul, like dog food, cat food, baby wipes, toilet paper. But again, I paid for that separately because it just helps me know what I'm doing in my head and let's get it all out and talk about it all. Okay, so I'm back and my happy helpers, Zion in particular, have organized all of this and I'm gonna show it all to you with the price breakdown, including exactly what I spent and what I got to do those up to 40 freezer meals and tons of lunch freezer meals too. First, let's look in this goodie bag. What did I get? I haven't gotten one of these since we first started doing Walmart grocery pickup. This was probably for Mother's Day. That's the name of our person to give her a good review. Okay, oh, I love Pantene products. Pantene pro Vive. I used to use this as a teenager. So yes, I will definitely use those samples. And then we got a sample of these Veggie Crisp, yum. And then, what is this? Deer Park. Sparkling spring water, natural pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate lemonade. I will definitely try that. Here goes Zion, do you want hot fudge sundae or caramel apple? Uh, no I'm gonna give, do you want them both for your stash? Sure. There, Thank there. <laughs> that's, that's Zion's payment for organizing things. Oh, lots of little Zion payments. Look at this. Cookies and cream Oreo. Thank you. And then we've got, oh Zion, this is like snacks. <laughs> oh. Lucky charms. Let me, sh let me show my online friends and then you can have this stuff. Here. This is good stuff. I'll, I'll take the healthy okay. stuff. <laughs> okay, then we've got a little country, cr country crock clip. What is this? Mom's all that. Oh, we're gonna have some coupons. I was gonna say, what will this have? So I will definitely look into those. 
some wipes. Oh, yeah, that's helpful. Those will go right in my purse. And then, what else did they give me? Oh, wonderful. Some more lotion. Excellent. You'll see in my haul I got some today. Thank you, Walmart, for the goodie bag. So I'm going to start with the household haul side of things. So we have recently been through two sagas. We have run out of hand soap the last two days, and we've run out of con conditioner and shampoo. So whenever that happens, I always stock up a little extra. Now, when I do my household hauls, I try to get what we need plus a little more, and we don't always need the same things every month because we can have extra. So again, that's this is just what was needed this month. So I got four of the soap refills. This should last us probably up to three months. And I got four because we have four sinks in the house. That way, under every sink, we can have a soap refill. The kids use this suave shampoo and conditioner, and I thought, why are all these conditioners? But no, I ordered six of, I love the strawberry. I've always used that on the kids. It's also great with, if you do the curly girl method, or if you look into that, the strawberry conditioner is recommended for certain ways you can do it. And definitely Naomi has a lot of naturally curly hair. Even though we're not 100% curly girl, we're getting there. So all that to say, um, I ordered six of the strawberry shampoo and conditioner parentheses. I know you're not using shampoo on curly girl. I just feel like I gotta say that to all the professional curly girls out there. But anyway, Okay, TMI, JMRO. So I ordered six strawberry shampoos, six strawberry conditioners, all in the Great Value family size. They were like $1.94 each. Out of that, I only got three of the strawberry conditioners. They had to then replace the rest with tropical coconut, which is the next one that I would buy. So we got three strawberry, three coconut, and then all the shampoos are the coconut. It's fine, we'll have shampoo. I got one pack of razors, one bottle of peroxide. This is just always something in my mama homemade first aid arsenal. A pack of guys deodorant, and then you all tell me. So I got some funky looking legs. You wanna talk about that? Got some funky looking mama chicken legs, some interesting um, spots, marks, and bruises that definitely came about during in my pregnancy with uh, Daniel. A little bit more so with my pregnancy with Benjamin, and I still like to wear shorts. So I was looking for, this is fair to medium skin tones, I was looking for, um, I don't know, kind of some of that self-tanning lotion. I think that's what this is. Yes, I could read you the whole bottle. Maybe I will. For best results, use daily as your body lotion. Smooth on evenly and completely. Use sparingly on elbows, knees, and ankles. Allow a few minutes to dry prior to dressing. Wash your hands. You will begin to see a subtle development of color within several days. If color change is not noticeable as desired, apply more frequently. So... Yeah, I've never used anything like this, but I just wanted to help these mama chicken legs out. All of you mamas who know more about this, please tell me what to do. <laughs> Four of the Ziploc gallon ba bags. Um, these will last me many months. Uh, yeah, I, and I do, I do get questions about reusing them. I do reuse them, except when I've had like meat products in them. So it's always nice to have a stash as far as box, box tops, because I get questions about those. Our homeschool group collects box, top, box tops for sports equipment. And then I got one box of sandwich bags. And then I got a ginormous thing of, this is 84, size 3T, 4T, of pull-ups. Um, these were only 33 cents a pull-up, so that's great. Got a big old thing of baby wipes, and then two ginormous things of toilet paper. Yes, before our pickup today, we were down to one roll of toilet paper, so I will probably get some more later to build our stash back up. So, it may not seem like a lot. There was also a, like a 52-pound bag of, cat, of dog food, and then a 16-pound bag of cat food. There's also some vinegar. That probably, the vinegar, I use that, like I classify that as cleaning. I see it, it's out there with my grocery haul. The total of this household portion of our super mega large family grocery haul was $265.17. And so what I do is every month I budget up to $300 for what I call our household haul. It can I can come in anywhere between 200 and 300. And it's 
for stuff like this. Shampoo, toilet paper, diapers, wipes. I got a big stash of size six diapers right now, so I didn't need any more of those. Have a lot of other cleaning products, but was totally out of soap. We have like dish soap, dishwasher soap. So we don't always need everything, but it's always a good mix and it always comes in in between that $200 and $300 every month with our large family grocery budget. So we got a whole lot going down food wise as always. Now, if you're new here, Jay Morrell, why do you buy so much food? Fair enough question. Well, we're a family of 10, not the biggest family in the world by a long shot, not the smallest family in the world either. We work from home, we school from home. All of you who've been watching for years can say this. We've got lots of new folks here coming. So we work full time from home, my husband and I both, and our kids school full time from home. So that's 90 meals and 60 plus snacks for 10, you know, every month, all day, every day. It's a lot of food going down. Okay, here we are, all the way down here, yes. <laughs> Let's just start with the important things in life. I got 10. 10, is that two, two, four, six, eight, ten? 10, yes. 10 containers of, of Halo Top, the peanut butter cup, and the chocolate chip cookie dough. They are life. Besides those two, my next favorite flavor is oatmeal cookie. No guilt, it might be my lunch or it might be my breakfast. Mama don't care, I like it, yay. Um, then I've got two containers of whole milk because we're going to make homemade yogurt. I'm going to do an updated video where I do yogurt in the slow cooker and yogurt in the instant pot and electric pressure cooker just to show the process on both. I've gotten tons of questions about it. That's what these milks are for. And then we have 12 more milks. Now the date on these are May 23rd. Today is May 11th. Yes, 10 people. It, we basically go through a gallon or half a gallon a day. When we need more milk, we go back for more. For my 40 free freezer meals that I'm making, basically half of the cost of this haul is the freezer meals. So I got, I needed like 22 pounds of ground beef. I needed 10 pounds of chicken. That's what I got. I needed some butter, cream cheese, got three packs of cream cheese. And then for turkey, I needed, I believe it was five pounds of turkey. How many? Each one of these is a pound, and it's so cute. Like, look how little that is. I'm not used to this, but it was the, the way that they had turkey for sale online. So that is six pounds. And then these pork tenderloins. I was looking for the pork packaged a little bit differently. I needed a total of four pounds of pork, and so together, both of these is four pounds of pork. Uh, I don't know. What is it that's bothering me? This is 1.84. This is 2.35. So yeah. Oh, I guess this is it. The price per pound, 388. I don't normally spend that much on pork, but with their online options, I couldn't find the pork tenderloin. I guess it would be generic where this is Smithfield. I don't know. Anywho, this is for two of my meals. Look for a better pork deal than what I got on this today. Then we got the pre-cooked kielbasa. I need this for some freezer meals. I got two things of vanilla yogurt just to have for some smoothies and to be my starter yogurt because I don't have any right now uh, for the homemade. Two packs of string cheese, the singles. So yes, these were my last grocery haul because I was gonna do like 200 freezer sandwiches never got around to it. Yes, we just made sandwiches as the month, month rolled on, but let me tell you, every morning, so look at Talking Hand. This is like serious Talking Hand business. Every time we had to go and make sandwiches, I was like, my goodness, see, this is passionate. If these were pre-done, we would just be grabbing and going, and instead, we're here making, and I don't like that. Talking Hand is getting the head snap, okay. Two things of ricotta, che ricotta cheese, and then, yes, whole lotta lotta. I've got two, four, six packs of shredded cheese. I had ordered two of the big five pound bags and they replaced it with these fine sharp cheddar. Six one way, half dozen another, fine with me. And yes, 24 loaves of bread, yes. Half of this will be made into sandwiches. The other half will go in the freezer and we will use it. Don, don, don. Next, we have 
50 pounds of potatoes. I love having twice baked potatoes in the freezer ready to go. We will use those for like fun little side dishes for up to three months. Naomi and I did this maybe eight months ago, maybe a year ago now. We had an evening where we did a ton of twice baked potatoes and it was it's just fun to make them, fun to freeze them, definitely fun to have them in the freezer ready to go, but it takes doing them one time. So we're gonna do them. Then I have some condiments that I needed. Uh, this is also largely for freezer meals. Needed some more mustard. We're gonna do sloppy joes for the slow cooker. Always love having that on hand, so we got some more mustard for that. More shaky cheese, more minced garlic, because I've got about a fourth left, but I use it a lot. Only one thing of jelly. I do have some jelly, but again, I like to have extra on hand. One thing of ketchup, what was I thinking? Two things of King Arthur whole wheat flour because I wanna get my bread machines out when I do freezer cooking this week and do banana bread, blueberry bread, you know, all my different fruit breads. So you may not know this about me, but I am the maker of bread machine drama, apparently. Some people have used my bread machine recipes and love them. And then when they don't like them and when they flop, they flop hard. <laughs> and so I apologize for that. I'm going to share my bread machine recipes again and just try to get like every single little step. Um, maybe I didn't do that last time. Maybe I, I, I don't know. It's always hard when you share recipes because like if one little thing's off, the whole thing, it could be a brick. We haven't had it be a brick. The only time we had trouble, it's in one of my freezer cooking videos, is when I didn't give it that little extra stir around the edge that I do, and then I even showed it in the video. It was a big, big mess. Anywho, more bread machine recipes coming up. So 10 dozen total of the eggs, and then, glory hallelujah, it's that time of year. Now sometimes, okay, so this is the Budget Saver Sugar-Free Pops in the different flavors. This is 12. Sometimes I can get them in the 24, but I ordered eight of the 12. They didn't have the 24 available. And so, yes, yeah, so two Twin Pops. That's what we got. Got eight of those, and yes, I'm sure we'll be done with those in a month. There you go. Like, like it or not, that's what we got. Um, my standard 12 things of unsweetened applesauce. Now, fruit and veggie-wise, I got some fruits and veggies. But as you may know, I just got back from Utah. And honestly, we've got a variety of fruits and veggies already that need to be used up. So I only got things that obviously we didn't already have on hand and things to add to so like I got some fresh spinach for salads these four peppers are for freezer meals I feel like I ordered more corn I think I only got 12 years so I need to look at my phone and look at that um yeah so anyway that this corn will just be like a fun little thing for one meal i do my corn in the electric pressure cooker i'll link my recipe down below for that if you're interested it just takes a few minutes where if you're doing fresh corn and you're boiling it i mean it can be an hour process it takes a long time at least it always has for me to do my corn but the pressure cooker makes it fast quick and in a hurry which i appreciate uh two things of iceberg lettuce four cantaloupes two cabbages yay two watermelons one bag of broccoli that's also for a freezer meal just two packs of taco seasoning two packs of semi-sweet chocolate chips just for more recipes that are coming up four big things of peanut butter two of those I figured are for different recipes and two are for the house then for more freezer meals we got four packs of these jumbo shells because we will be making stuffed shells two packs of fettuccine that's to go for a pork ragu to go over and then we've got five boxes of bow ties and then six containers of beef broth and then there's my vinegar that's really part of my household haul $279 here is for the making of the 40 freezer meals, which breaks down to just a little over $6.50, under seven bucks per meal for our family of 10. And then everything else is other grocery fill-ins. And for lunch freezer meals and breads and other things we're gonna stock the freezer with, that does not mean that we eat all of that in one month. Many of these meals will spread out up to three months. I just have in my mama head 
keeping things stashed and built up and ready to go. That way if we have a dinner where I have a, a low carb meatloaf in the slow cooker and we have some twice baked potatoes for those who want those and then I can put my time that afternoon into making a huge salad because I'm all about putting big salads on top of and with everything. So the total of this big super mega large family grocery shopping haul was $517. I usually grocery budget about $1,000 to $1,200 a month for our family of 10 which you can divide on down you know per per week per person per day per meal makes it well less than a dollar per meal. This is not going to be our only grocery haul for May. I will go back in about two to three weeks and that haul will probably be like an Aldi haul, which will be heavy on refilling all of like fruits, vegetables, other things that we need. And I have this playlist right here of some of my super mega grocery shopping hauls. I mean, hauls much bigger than this. So click on this and keep on watching and I will see you next time with another brand new video. I'll be chatting with all my friends down in the comments below. Bye-bye.